Okay, this is an update for uh, September 16th, 2016. Uh, we're keeping an eye on the uh, Hawaiian Islands right here. Uh, we have <clears throat> the storm out here that has rebuilt. We see some rotation out to the uh, west of Hawaii right here. And uh, there has been some redevelopment of this uh, thunderstorm activity. And actually, this looks like a disturbance, but it's not, it's not listed on the... Uh, Central Pacific Hurricane map right here. This is the uh, Central Pacific Hurricane Center. And looking at this map, they have nothing uh, denoting any sort of a disturbance, despite the uh, size of that system. Uh, here we have, uh, this is Orlean, which is still marked as a uh, tropical storm with uh, 45 mile per hour winds. So this thing is on its way out. We can see the uh, transmitter right on top of that. But over here, we see some really uh, impressive development. And we also see a blast pattern right here towards the end of this loop right there. Now, if we take a look at the, uh, the Hawaii map, the water vapor map up close, we can see that blast pattern very clearly right all the way around, but mainly up in this area. If we go and take a look at this in the uh, water, vapor, uh, water vapor loop, Right here, we can see uh, some pretty good detail as this system is targeted all through here with a microwave. Next, we're going to look at the uh, visible light map, and we can see the dimple marks all through this uh, thunderstorm cell. It's uh, like a supercell. That's a very large area of thunderstorms. Now, we can see all the photoshopping right there. That's all the, uh, <coughs> pardon me, uh, the Photoshop work uh, to hide the uh, microwave uh, fingerprints on that on the top of that system. So now, now, now as we uh, move towards the uh, <clears throat> the uh, day to night right here, we can see uh, craters and dimples all over right through here. And there's four of them right right in this area. We have uh, this this area was hit earlier, and we can see the uh, crater. An expanding uh, crater is the best way to describe it. Uh, after these are hit, we see a it looks like a crater that expands out radially from the uh, from the center point where these were targeted. So let's uh, go ahead to the next frame. Okay, we don't have a next frame. So this is the first frame of the uh, night to day transition. So we'll keep an eye on this. But this is how the microwave actually works. They target various areas of the thunderstorm that weakens it. We can see another uh, big mark right here, uh, area where it was hit, and we have the islands right here. So this is a very big area of thunderstorms. Uh, let's go ahead and just run this again. And they are photoshopping, uh, hiding their work so people can't see what's going on. But uh, the blast pattern is, is uh, right up here. We can see that in all three of these maps. Have the water vapor map. And then let's go back and take a look at the uh, big map once again. We see that high pressure is still installed right here, and, and that is a reroute of the jet stream to the north. And we have some monsoonal thunderstorms well to the uh, south, you know, the southern part of Mexico. And we have a transmitter right here, which is cutting off. This area of moisture right here, which is uh, feeding into this system. So by the end of uh, today, we should see a, a complete uh, break in that uh, moisture field right there. Also, we still have that break through the uh, eastern Pacific right here. All this should be moving right through California. Okay, so that's it. That's the quick update. Uh, go ahead and post this. And I do another full update later.